two big thumbs up. Hey, thanks for coming out. It's the second annual Capital District Digital Listen Up Awards. And uh, before we get started, I do want to thank uh, the sponsors that made this possible. So of course, Capital District Digital, uh, Park Playhouse, uh, we got Putnam Place, Premium Mortgage, Peak Music, The River Street Beach Shop, Sliding Dirty, Seasons Cafe and Tea House, Corcoran's Topat Tavern, Parkway Music, Thatcher Street Pub, thank you so much for making this possible. So, without further ado, let's have some fun. And just because they're jazz, don't be afraid to dance. Jazz music is very danceable. Yo. It's Joe Barton and the Sketches of Influence. Thank you very much, Rob Smithix. Put your hands together for Art Forget for putting this together for you. I want to introduce the band. We got Mr. Keith Prey on the organ. Mr. Keith Prey on the organ. The great Michael Nowakowski on the guitar. My name is Joe Barton. Thank you very much. I was very shocked when Art called and said, would you like to open up the festivities? There's a lot of musicians in the Capital Region that deserve to be up here, and uh, we can't have everybody, so I'm very honored that I was selected. Thank you so much, Art. Um, I'd also like to thank everybody. I wasn't able to go, but everybody that went out last night to the Dustin Mealy concert and uh, enjoyed themselves there. It's a great event. Support Troy, support events. So, lastly, my statement is jazz doesn't suck, but some of the people that play it do. That's my statement. Because they don't understand how to, how to you know, make the audience feel good. So we're going to try to make you feel good. If you want to dance, we got enough space up here. We picked some tunes that we think you might want to shake it to, all right? So don't be afraid, man. Even if you got bad hips, come on up and waddle.
thank you. That was a Lou Donaldson composition entitled Midnight Creeper. You like that? Anybody dancing? I don't see nobody dancing. We must suck. We're gonna play a Keith Frey composition right now. This one he wrote for his lovely wife. Her name is Katie. This is entitled When She Smiles, When She Smiles.
little swing for you? Is that cool? What's up? Where's Jeremy Walls, man? Where's Jeremy? I threatened to bring him up here at one point. We'll see if he comes. Anyway, we're going to play Original Lamar right now. It's a blues I wrote in tribute to the great Wes Montgomery, one of the most timeless guitar players in music history, not just jazz. This is my tribute entitled Wes is More. Wes is More. They like, you like jazz. Check it out. Man. See, jazz comes in all flavors and sizes, man. You did? Thank you. 
Carpenters fans in the house? Anybody like the Carpenters? I do. I tell you what, she was a bad drummer. That girl could play, man. A lot better than me. But I'm gonna fake it for you. Fake it till I make it, right? I'm gonna fake it till I make it. This one's kind of close to you. We're gonna slow it down for you lovers. I see you, Jeff Prescott.
We plan to play another tune, but we're not gonna hog the stage. We wanna get these festivities going, man. You guys have fun? Yeah! All right. Does jazz still suck? No. I did my job. Thank you, Art Fredette. Wherever you are, I love you, man. You're doing God's work. Thank you, brother. Amen. Keep praying the organ, Mike Novakowski on the guitar. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second annual Listen Up Awards 2023. Joe Barner Sketches of Influence. Joe was our jazz winner from last year. Last year we had a great uh, starting show at Lark Hall. We thank everybody who came down last year and our winners from last year. We move it every year, so this year, Cahoes Music Hall. Let's hear for Owen and the whole staff here. A little bit of history lesson while we get going here. Last year we had a total of 6,000 votes for the artists. This year we had 38,572. And that's all of you guys. At this award show, the fans picked the nominees. The fans picked the winner. We can't even vote, those of us who are putting it on. It's not three men in a room, it's all of you. We thank you very much for doing that and coming out today. We're gonna give these guys a couple minutes to get off stage. We're gonna come off and start with our first award in just a couple seconds, thank you. All right, we're gonna start with the awards right now. Our very first award, if you know anything about the Coast Music Hall, you know that it's haunted. Yeah, right? Oh yeah. Just like my bank account from Alimony. Um, <laughs> yeah. But so we're gonna do the first award right now. I'm gonna call on our very own Nikki Chaos to come on up here for the first award of the night. The name of the ghost here is Eva Tangway. <laughs> And Nikki's gonna do the presentation. things for charity of course <laughs> so I'm, I'm Rob Smittix by the way from Radio Radio X Experience yeah. Monthly I got my pal Art for Dead over here now I know and I've been told several times so we'll just get the joke out of the way but uh, I definitely raided Teddy Toll's closet for this outfit uh, here today <laughs> um, sharp guy man uh, so yeah let's get some awards going here right 
Let's do it. So, the very first award is going to... Oh, no, I was going to do that. He's correcting me. What I was going to say, it's going to the favorite duo solo act. Uh, so the nominees are Katie Gallagher. Yeah. Harry and Allen. Jason Irwin. Marco Maceria. And Peter Anello. And the winner. Come on up, there are stairs over here. Goes to Jason Irwin. Congratulations to all the other nominees and uh, everybody just uh, have a good time tonight and thank you so much. This is really cool. Really cool. Jason Irwin, everyone. Woo! All right. So, the next category here is the Favorite Solo Duo Covers Act. And the nominees would be Yellow Dog, Geo, the North Allen Duo, Gus when he's unplugged, and Dylan Rivers. And the winner is the North Allen Duo. There's two of them, that makes sense. I've known for way too long. I'm surprised I'm not in jail yet. And uh, 20 years ago, we were an original band of kids. Howard Glassman booked us. We're so excited to see him here tonight. So uh, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Matthew, you want to say anything? He doesn't want to say anything. Thank you very much. North Island, too, everyone. That was awesome. I wanted a hug. 
So, the next category we got here is the favorite party band. All right. We all love a good party band. Nominees include the Off the Record Trio. The Rhythm Pilots. The Sugar Hole. Harmony Rocks. And the Accents. Well, the award goes to Harmony Rocks. These guys are sharp too, by the way. Be careful on those stairs. Enough. This is probably my fourth time on this stage. Yeah. 70s and 80s and not too long ago. Uh, I really wasn't prepared for this. I didn't think we were going to win. I'd like to thank everybody who put this together. My bandmates, you know, it's easy getting into a band. It's hard keeping it together. Thank you. I just want to thank you very much. We love our, our fans. I got a lot of history in this building. I think it brought us luck tonight. Thanks, and have a great night. Homie <laughs> rocks, everyone. Thank you. All right. Be careful, guys, seriously. Your holding hands helps. If they break a hip, it's over, so let's pray for them. <laughs> All right. Next category. Favorite country artist. Woo. All right, so we have the nominees. Southbound Renegade. Yeah. The Blue Billies. Tame the Rooster. Whiskey Highway, and the Brule County Bad Boys. And the winner is Whiskey Highway. Come on up if you're here. Sure, he's This is a guy getting a beer. He's just giving the bar. We all like to get drunk. Left foot first. about 10 years ago and uh, this is our first award and it's been a great ride, some great shows and, and uh, thanks to the fans and all the people that helped us out, Rivers Casino and everybody. Um, special thanks to all the band wives out there, not just my own. We realize we got a little bit of an older crowd, not these guys, but we're gonna start having people exit this way, just so we don't have any problems. We didn't pay for the extra insurance. 
All right, so the next category we have is the favorite rock cover band. Yeah. The nominees, we have Dirt Cheap. Chris Pizzone. At Your Age. Six Miles Sundown. Abuus, did I say that right? I hope so. Anyway, good luck to everyone and let's uh, see. The winner is Dirt Cheap. Honestly, sounds like a band we should book. We got any guys here? I see some people stairs but if you're feeling like you can't this is the way to go so favorite Americana artist uh, the nominees include Brian Medicine Marty Wendell the Blue Billies Reese Fulmer Big Frank and the Bargain Bears And the winner is Marty Wendell. Marty here? There he is. Oh, yeah, that's Peggy, everyone. Now, Johnny Cash used to tell this story about how he would play with Marty Wendell all the time. Give it up, Marty Wendell. Others have said, I didn't expect this. The wonderful other musicians in the category, and uh, I had to root for my friends, the Bluebillies. They do a lot of shows with us. This is my 59th year in music. I started when I was five. But all in all, I just have to say it's been a, a, a really good run and in the twilight of my career to have you people uh, make it possible for me to have these kinds of awards. Uh, we've had Grammy runs, uh, Eddie's Hall of Fame. I, I, it's just, uh, it's overwhelming actually, but it's all thanks to you. Yeah. God bless you. Martin Wendell, everyone. All right. So, looks like the next category we have is favorite pop artist. Yeah. And the nominees are Katie Gallagher, Peter Anello, Caleb Dingman, Girl Blue. But the winner is Peter Anello. Yeah. Awesome. 
Uh, this is cool. I've never won an award for anything in my life, so this is neat. So for like a little league participation trophy, so that's cool. I'm not quite sure how the voting works, but I'd like to thank my mom's Facebook army for voting for me. Thanks, mom. It's very cool. Uh, for anybody out there pursuing music, which is probably a lot of you, uh, just keep going. Um, this means a lot. You know, thank you very much. Appreciate it. So, the next category that we have is the phase it. All right, I love the fact that we named it this the favorite rock hard artist. Right? The nominee is Seas Atlantis. Shortwave radio band. The Hard Luck Souls. Longest band name in local history, Joe Mansman and the Midnight Revival Band. I don't know if it fit on the slide. Super 400. And the winner is Seas Atlantis. What, did you not sit together? How'd you get up here so... Wow, uh, thank you guys so much, everybody who voted for us. This is such a loaded category. We're truly honored. So many friends in the room who've already won, who've already been nominated. Thank you guys so much for all being a part of this. Thank you to Radio, Radio X, and to Mirth Films for putting this together. Thank you guys to everyone who's ever come out to a show or listened to our music, and if you haven't, thank you for doing it in the future, because you will. Yeah. Woo! Rock on, nobody ever give up! It's nice that these bands keep thanking us, but we didn't even vote, dude. <laughs> We're not allowed, it was your fans, so make sure you thank your fans. At every gig, really. They're the ones that let us do stuff like this. So at uh, this time, we're gonna do our first hero award. I would like to call Soul Sky to come on up and get ready to play. And if Mr. Mark Emanation could come up, please. Is he in the bathroom? He's probably playing like an Irish gig somewhere. Our first Hero Award this year will be somebody who meant a whole lot to a whole bunch of us in this room. Caroline Mother Judge Isaacson. So, Mark. In, in 1993, I was playing with Ernie Williams and the Wildcats at the Lionheart Blues Cafe, which I now think is Bombers and on Mark Street. But at that time, it was a blues club. And uh, this young woman, beautiful, striking young woman came in, and uh, she said, can I sing? And she came up and sang two songs with her, with us. I'm sure we, like, you know, did the best we could. Um, she was really wonderful and completely different. She had just moved from Pennsylvania to here. And then over the next couple whiles, we did a bunch of stuff together. We did some stuff with Billy Ray, Billy, um, I, I don't even know what his name was now. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, so you get old, you forget. Um, but I couldn't, you can't forget her. And then we did a thing together, it was called Music for All. She had this idea that poor kids and working class kids should have the right to have instruments and play music and get music lessons. And we put that together. <laughs> Mother Judge and the Urban Holiness Society did a whole bunch of excellent music and excellent work and brought roots music and music that was completely imaginative. Their version of Smells Like Teen Spirit was brilliant. 
And, uh, and then she did, in my money, the best open mic in the history of our area at her hearings. The, the other thing she did, she encouraged every young musician to do themselves, to be themselves, to write songs, to play songs, to let their soul shine. And uh, her soul shined. And she raised a fortune of money for charities and benefits and every other possible thing. When they said a hero award, she is. She actually is a hero. And the, this area has been greatly diminished by her loss, but greatly enriched by her legacy. And um, thank you, Artie, for letting me give this award. To <laughs> Thank you, Mark. We'll make sure this gets to the proper people. They're right here, where are they? I was in the back, I didn't see. Come here, Brad. Let's smoke and enjoy. won by Soul Sky. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Soul Sky. You're a good looking audience.
So we are honored to be asked to play here today. This is a collection of the local musician scene, right? Most of you are musicians. If not, you are a huge music fan that supports music in this area. So thank you to each and every one of you for being here. Because this is a community and we need to remember that. Support your friends, support your friends' bands. Go see live local music as much as you can. Because that's the only reason, that's the only way and the only reason that we have a good music scene in this area. There are so many talented people here. I'm looking at my friends around here. There is so much talent in this room, and we are blessed to be part of this scene. So thank you, my friends. Let me do the song I wrote for my wife.
Do we have time for one more? Uh, it's, up, it's not up to us, it's up to our party. Do we have time for one more? Yeah. Yes. This is a song that we uh, wrote on a napkin at Bailey's in Saratoga. And it goes like this.
friends in your community so we got this world. but also to take the time and choose to celebrate local music. So thank you guys. Thank you, Jeremy. I'd like to thank our sponsors again tonight. Capital District Digital is our title sponsor. The second year with these guys, Anthony and crew, thank you very much. Premium Mortgage Company, Jeff Dorn stepped up for this. Putnam Place, Sly and crew. Peak Music. The River Street Beat Shop. If you don't know Jimmy Barrett, you don't know shit. Sliding Dirty of Troy. Those guys are always there for us. Seasons Coffee and Tea House are also always there. My first customer when we started the um, experience, first advertiser is Christopher Corcoran from Corcoran's Towpath Tavern. Can we hear it for him? Without him, we probably would have folded after our second issue. Thank you, Chris. Parkway Music. Everybody's favorite music store. Rocky's music. Everybody loves Rocky. If you don't love Rocky, it's your fault. Yeah, I'm, am I right? Am I right? Okay. And Thatcher Street Pub. And if you don't like boobies, that's your fault, too. Even boobies like boobies. I don't like boobies. Right? You like boobies, right, Jeremy? Yeah. I mean, you even bought your own set. You're married, right? All right. Marriage is a wonderful institution. I've been institutionalized twice. You don't know how special I am. All right. We're gonna get back into the awards right now, everybody. I'm gonna step up for a couple that Rob's coming back because he's much better at this than I am. Can I hear for Rob Smith, everybody? Frankie Cabone, the man up there on the computer and doing all the video. Sound guys, everybody here for the closed musical. All right, Frank, are you ready for us? All right. Favorite alt indie artist. Yeah, the nominees are Under the Den, House of Saturn, Grape Juice, Eerie, and Haunted Cat. And the winner is a band called Eerie. When you're young, you can make it up here faster than that. Uh, this is weird. I, I, we're not very good at public speaking, we're much better at it. I, we're not much better at playing games, but anyway. Um, holy shit. Thank you guys. Uh, a lot of people came up here, they said uh, they didn't expect to win. Um, we really didn't. I wanted to come up here and be like, yeah, we totally expected to win. This was this was a foregone conclusion, but uh, not at all. Um, to get sentimental for a second, I started this band uh, right before 2020. Um, and I was in the hospital. I have a uh, pacemaker that I was not expecting to have at uh, 30 years old. Um, and I was in the bed and I was like, I really miss playing fucking music loud with, with people I love. And I found these guys, Chad, I met this guy on Craigslist. And um, <laughs> no joke, it was, it was the best Craigslist ad I've ever found. 
And for the last three years, I've been having the time of my life, and I am so, so grateful for, for this. I, I'm, I'm like in shock right now, this is crazy. Um, I'm hogging the microphones, I'm gonna let Chad uh, say something, but um, thank you to my wife who is at home with my kids and holding down the fort and letting me do really weird shit like this. Um, and thank you guys, and to host Music Hall, Frankie, Rob, Art, everyone, thank you guys so much. First of all, I'm gonna thank my wife because I get to play music with my friends and I'm 38 years old. So that's first. But second, I wanna thank everybody in this room because without this community, I wouldn't be able to do things like this and have fun with my friends. And uh, without all of you, we wouldn't be here. So that's all I got. A band named Mary. They said they met on Craigslist. You should check out their OnlyFans, too. Right? All right, you guys notice we haven't been saying best, we've been saying favorite. It's favorite because you all voted, remember that. We don't choose who the best is. The best local band is whoever you pay the cover to see each night and every night you go out. So remember that. All right? Because everybody here is the best any given night. And you're all number one with your fans. All right, favorite folk and bluegrass artist. Hold on, honeys. Brain Medicine. Jessica's. The Bluebillies. Jim Gauday and the Railroad Boys. The winner is the Blue Billies. And they're here, that's great. this uh, and so happy. Thank you so much. Uh, and of course I thank all my fellow Bluebillies, Mr. Greg Bucking on guitar. My husband Mark on bass, who's uh, out making money to support the band. Thank you. And Mr. Frank Orsini on fiddle, who can't be here tonight, but I'm thinking about him. And, and I, I just want to say, uh, that it's wonderful to be among all you great artists. It's been said before, but I really feel it, that um, I'm one of the family here. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I know we've had a lot of trouble since uh, 2020, uh, finding places to play and everything. But, um, and it's discouraging sometimes, but I just want to say, don't let it stop you. And I have uh, people coming up to me after the show saying, um, never stop doing what you're doing. I'm like, oh, that sounds great. So I just want to pass those words on to you. Never stop doing what you're doing. You're yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Last night, there was a very important benefit at uh, Revolution Hall. And a lot of you were there, and I want to thank you for coming out. And remember the Dustin Mealy Memorial Benefit every year for suicide prevention. Once again, how we can all take care of each other. It's a good cause. Great people have been involved since day one. So if you didn't work there last night, next year, be there, okay? Thank you. Call me. <laughs> Who said that? There you go, call her. Him, call everybody. Call your friends, call your neighbors. Well do. All right, favorite jazz artists. Here we go. 
The nominees are Mike Newman, E Block, Hot Club of Saratoga, NEQ, Nelson Esposito Quintana, and Keith Prey. And your winner is, this year's favorite is, Hot Club of Saratoga. We're so psyched to be a part of it. We've been together playing for 20 plus years. Um, so I'm sure whoever knows is back in the P uh, Positively Ford Street days with, with Artie. I mean, those were the best times. I'm glad we made it through because that was just crazy. There's a bunch of divorces, a lot of rehab going on. But yeah, but hey, we made it through and we're still out here. And it's also fantastic to see these young artists uh, keep doing what we used to do, and they're making us feel young, and they're making us, you know, keep rocking and rolling. So you guys keep doing it. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much. My fiance, April, thank you for letting me do this for all these years. Uh, my my stepkids, want to thank them. want to thank Artie, Ready Radio X, and especially all these wonderful uh, photographers, and I'm gonna get off the mic. But again, God bless you guys. This is for Madeline. Thanks, everyone. Thanks everybody uh, for, for your support and thanks to our wives and our families for helping oh, us yeah. too. And by the way, I mean, uh, Marky's wife has been letting us jam in the basement for all these years. So God bless Danielle and Marky's family. So thanks again. God bless you guys. did punk, now let's do metal. Favorite metal band of the year. The nominees are Faced, Gozer, Ice Queen, Lock Nine, Brick by Brick. And the winner is, this year's favorite is Lock Nine. Is Lock Nine in the house? They're coming? They're not even breathing hard. What are you talking about? But I'm chum. I'm here all week trying to feel. Oh, 
Thank you. What? Metal is alive, baby. Metal is alive. We want to thank everyone who's been supporting us over the years, man. It's been a rough road, especially with COVID. Everyone here was affected, and I just love seeing full venues again and appreciate everyone's support here. We'll give it up to our lead singer here, Henry Fry. Let's see the devil horns, by the way. Come on, put them up. Yeah! And I want to thank you guys. I don't know how the hell we're up here, but uh, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to play a show here, so I hope you all come. Cheers. This is going well, I think. Are you all having a good time out there? Yeah. Seeing a lot of smiles, thank you. I love the tuxedo t-shirts, by the way, guys. That's like... Very Beatlesque. I'll, I'll fuck it up. <laughs> Give me time, you've been to my bars. All right, here we go. Fuck up a wet dream. All right, favorite jam band. The nominees are... Annie in the Water. Raisinhead, Hilltop, Ampavine, and Timberkoop. The winner is this year's favorite, Annie in the Water. Are they here? They're not here? Maybe they drowned. Frankie Cabone's gonna accept the award on their behalf. Give it up for Frankie. We could have done it without this guy. Big shout out to Annie in the Water, one of the best uh, jam bands in this area, along with everybody else on this list. Uh, shout out to every one of them, and uh, yeah. yeah, go uh, go see jam bands, because they're okay. <laughs> and marijuana is legal, so it helps. <laughs> Gotta let Frankie get back to the computer before we can do anything else, or else there's no slides. And... Once we got past Atari 2600, I was lost anyway, so. All right, Frankie, are you ready for me? All right. Favorite blues artist. This year's nominees, Delt the Blues. George Fletcher Blues Band. Matt Mirabli. Sly Fox and the Hustlers. The Switch. Your favorite this year is Sly Fox and the Hustlers. Anybody here from that camp? I heard a yes. All right. I don't know. I said somebody was coming up. Are they coming up? Come on, come on. Hero Award, but first we have the R&B, Soul, and Funk Award, favorite act for this year. Il Ensemble, E-Block, Doc Horton, The Nolanox, and Ooglack. Your winner is E-Block. Then I do 
negotiating the stairs. Here they come. We have a lot of fun playing with each other. If you've been to a show, I think you can see how much fun we have. Um, it just comes from cutting our teeth, playing all these places locally, people giving us a shot, us getting the chance to just work it out. Um, we're all best friends. We're missing our keyboard player, Devin, today, so uh, this one's for Dev. And all these guys right here, I mean, this is uh, it's just a joy to play. We speak the same language, so it's a lot of fun. Thank you. drummer in the band. Uh, yeah, 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 let's give it up for the drummers in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah uh, just want to say uh, to everybody that doubted us, uh, we did it. I just want to thank everybody for um, all the support. Thank you to all the fans. And um, we got more music dropping, so stay tuned. We are going to present our second Hero Award tonight, and my friend Vito Ciccarelli is going to do that. And then JB, a.k.a. Dirty Moses, is going to entertain us. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Mr. Vito Ciccarelli. How y'all doing out there? <laughs> Wonderful award show for the people, by the people. And I've been asked to do this today only because host of Kaleidoscope, Jim Barrett, was found on 112th Street wearing a blue Speedo, and he is currently with his wife, being medicated. You know, I had the honor and the privilege of producing Josh Bloomfield's last show. August 1st, 2020 was more than an emotional day for all of us. And Josh's parents, Sue and Danny, are here with us tonight, yeah. this afternoon. <laughs> One thing I always remember about Josh is I'd be sitting at the bar at Dinosaur Barbecue, and he'd walk in with Jeremy, and I wouldn't know they were coming in, and I'd feel a wet finger going in and out of my ear. That was Josh. <clears throat> and it was an emotional day. We were in the middle of the pandemic, and we were following CDC uh, guidelines with the full crop circles for people to sit in. And it was the most ridiculous thing you ever saw in your life because the city made us set up bike racks. Remember, Jeremy? Oh, Out in front of the stage, and we were allowed 50 people. 50. Well, and that included the sound company, the bands, the vendors. So we had 22 people sitting out in front of that stage. But behind the bike racks, we had over 700 people came to pay tribute to Josh. There was an awful lot leading up to that particular show. I had called Jeremy months before, and we discussed this about getting Josh on stage one more time. He wasn't good, Josh knew it, we all knew it. And it was an emotional roller coaster for a lot of us. And of course, the city was busting my balls about the show and what gave us a permit for the park. So we did a backup plan just in case we had a guy out in Melrose, New York, of course, Rensselaer County, um, who allowed who was going to allow us to use his six acres of property to put on that show. But luckily, 
It didn't come to that. And on that day, I saw the greatest feat of strength I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this guy was in bed for two weeks prior to this show. And he had told me like a week before, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. And a few days before the show, he called me and he said, I'm going to do maybe one or two songs. Well, that son of a bitch, he played the entire two hours, sang his ass off. That was Josh. After the show, he came over to me and he thanked me for doing it. And we hugged. And then he ran off the stage and he got sick. It was, it was hard to watch. That was the first time I produced thousands of shows in my career. But I've never seen anything like that. It's the only time I did a show that I cried. And I, stand, I stood behind that stage and I cried like a baby watching this kid who, who, was, who had accepted his fate. And he just got up there and he sang his ass off and he played his ass off. And let's hear it for Josh Bloomfield, ladies and gentlemen. such a good friend to him over the years and it was an emotional night for both of us but you know what brother we got through it and we got through it like brothers thank you so much for listening to my ramblings here but they they sincerely they asked me to do this because I did put on the last show and Josh is an individual many of us all of us who knew him myself included, will never forget this man. Thank you so much for coming out. All right, JB, AKA Dirty Moses. Definitely getting your way up here. We're gonna hear some uh, music. We're gonna take a photo by Stephanie J. Bardick right here. JB, everyone. That was super emotional. I don't know how I'm gonna follow that with all that emotion. This is great. Rob. I'm putting up, huh? What? Hey, hi. I'm putting on my sunglasses only because of the lights. I'm not cool. I mean, a little one. But. How y'all doing? Y'all ready for some hip hop music? Yeah! Right, cool. I'm a member of Victory Soul Orchestra. That's my boy right there. Beat Shop Music. True Master in the building. My boy DJ Hollywood in the building. I see you, B. Austin. My lady. Let's play some tunes. I'm not back by a band today. Yeah, 
I walk up in the place, spotlights on me. I see your girls all around you. Say what's up to my homies. Say what's up to the ladies. You know how I get to them. I'm all about my paper and the fly. Fine, fix it in. Honey, give me a minute. Baby, can I interrupt? Pour some bubbly in your cup. Let's discuss our future plans. Clearly, you know who I am, and you know what I'm about. Trips to Japan, beach house down south. You should probably hang out with this top shelf figure. Who gon' have you in bikinis drinking top shelf liquor? Paparazzi surround the cameras, flashing. Center of attention, lights, action. Passion of the night, passionate when I write. I can change your life and we can change area codes. This is how it might just be one night to spring excite. A team just like the dream life would be. Let's go. You could be the life of the party. Talking different, drinking everything on top of the shelf. And I ain't saying we get naughty. But if I play my cards right, the queen of hearts is sure to get down. And I'm 
the guard that it was built for. Heaven is within me, I don't go with the flow. I am the flow. Get you one that can do both. I am showing you growth. Music and medicine. Music is the medicine. I'ma give you a dose. But you can't pump or sip it, you might consider it gross. So you want a beautiful line on the ugly truth like it. Raise the day, don't be a burden of proof. Wicked with the wicker witchcraft of a democrat that choose to use. So I'm John the Conqueror, Conjurer. No stopping the man, consider me a monster. I don't do this for the grand death to imposters. Yeah, I gotcha, this is black boy magic. Yeah. I'm dope in real life. You're dope in real life. We're dope in real life. Thank you. That's awesome. I love this. I love the fact that y'all are standing up dancing too. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Check it. Look, my father told me I'm the universe. Nah, I'm just playing. He told me I couldn't fuck them all. I don't know what was worse. The disappointment of my pops or the third line of this verse. So I'ma put my life in these lines. <laughs> Even if this shit hurts. This is what we call work. These are black magic bars. This shit ain't pretty. But I've come way too far to be led by just ignorance. You can't gentrify my mind. I am way too strong. <laughs> this is not by design. Survival of the fittest before we are museum exhibit. I'm just trying to get it while I'm living. I'm just not a paradigm shifting. Switching gears and switching conditions. Scary, isn't it? 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 Check it out. Check it out. They keep telling me to chill, kid. You're keeping it too real, kid. I'm giving you something that you can feel, see? Or facing my toxic masculinity. By giving you a dose of this medicine. Don't think I think I'm better than, or that I'm so super heroin. I just don't just fuck a walk in the way of the trends. Huh? It's not embarrassing, then it's too hard extravagant living. Just don't it work to do. You better have a vision. Yeah, I'm so short, but I've grown a lot. I am not with the shits. Catch joke a lot. A lot of things really too much. This is not Parker Brothers. This here is not a game. If you see the damn cops coming, you better warn them, brother. I, my name wasn't. I feel like I need to be saying something. I'm not with the bullshit, so fuck the function. This is content. I'm loving it like a play cousin. Scary, isn't it? 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 Appreciate you all. Thank you. Well, we got a few more. So this joint right here. What happened? I love that you're here. I appreciate you. Um, so this joint right here, I went and got divorced twice, right? So I know they was talking about all this stuff. Divorced twice, I don't, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why I chose to do this shit two times. <sighs> but I might do it a third time because um, I went and got engaged to this young lady right there. And when I did it, before I even got engaged, I had wrote this song, and she was kind of, that's a lie. I've seen some bad things happen the third time. Anyway, I wrote this song with inspiration from her, because she's like, what I, she's my muse, so. Yeah. Shout out to Allison. And my business partner, also. JBA Concierge Medicine. Look it up, we do some, you know, some healthcare things. Honey, I don't need you Baby, just know I want you I know the feeling's mutual So tell me what we gonna do I don't wanna speak about it I'd just rather be about it Baby, you know I'm about it, about it You got that messed up pee 
But lady, you know this deep nice. You can call it your sunny delight. You can get it from the sun or Miss Jamie's son. When the two of us combine, we should equal one. Forget about them others, come collect your blessings. I've been blessed with your gifts just to be in your presence. Rap you and Louie or that Gucci from Dapper. Still spent all of I'm no ordinary rapper. No cap, I am more like Captain. You are more like Dorothy Dandridge and Harriet. You make your own way, make your own money. You don't need a drop of mine. That's fine, but I just wanna say what you wanna say. I'm so proud of you. You are everything. I'm so proud of you. Here, take this promise ring. I'm so proud of you. Let's go do everything. I'm so proud of you. Let's enjoy what life takes. Yes. Little Lyra thing, I met you about 10 years ago. You was working on your, yeah. You was working on your masters. I was mastering the art of getting to the bag and writing new chapters. So excited for what comes after. But life breaks pain and change and sometimes disaster. But that bounce back got me leveled up. Chris bezeled up, seeing better luck. So you know what's up. The roof is panoramic, who's Balenciaga? Relationships are killed, there's nothing that can stop us. You're now moving with the street king, with your black girl magic energy, doing queen things. So it's a family, it's official, there's no issue. If you see me happy, just dap me. I deserve this, I am worthy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am loved. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. You are everything. I'm so proud of you. Here, take this promise ring. I'm so proud of you. Let's go do everything. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Let's enjoy what life I'm gonna brings. try to say, honey, I don't need you. Baby, just know I want you. I know the feeling's mutual. So tell me what we gonna do. We should celebrate about it. Go on lots of things about it. Baby, you know I'm all about it. I'm your man, JB. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my DJ, DJ True Master back there, DJ Hollywood. I see you. Oh. I don't have much longer to go, but trust me. We will get this rapper stuff off the stage. But before I go. So I do this out that day, but no pasta show stop, but go bring I can do this shit all day. Sprinkle lyrics over tracks, soft bang. Choose some sound effects. We ain't got none on to the next. I think I found my chick that I can tie you with. No more Netflix and chill, give her this fire stick. She's a victim of my environment. It's not a freestyle if they buy it. Okay, forget you, pay for it. This is your year. Wait for it, I run this shit. Hey, boys, Rihanna, umbrella, rain on it. Bachelor, eligible, all that. Ladies, incredible, hook smash. Eat at the most, talk trash. I'm on my own pedestal, fall back. I never fall off. The type to make your wife take her wedding band off. So don't get chopped down with the chop of a chop like some karate ish. I'm done with this verse. Body in old school, new school, need to learn now. I burn, baby, burn like this stuff. No old school, new school, need to learn now. I burn, baby, burn like relaxers and burns. Old school, new school, need to learn now. I burn, baby, burn to who is making concern. Old school, new school, need to learn now. Look up JB, aka Dirty Moses. Look up Victory Soul Orchestra. Both of those people, which is me pretty much, have websites. Go to the website, subscribe, come to the shows, and support live music, please. Thank you. Yeah.
It's very important. This is how we make a living. This is how we keep our sanity. If not, a lot of people would be really messed up, including myself. Last song. New joint. You see the trick, you hear that splash, you're on my neck. I told my neck, you're talking trash, I'm about that cash. I probably never see a Billy, but I'm still a goat. Just call me Curry, I shoot my shot from far out. She be like, go now, I be like, calm down. Hop up in the spaceship, we're headed to the stars now. I drive a Mars Rover, you think your car better, you bet the stars over. Turn around the so we can see the constellations, my run is far from over. I'm just getting started, you a dealer departed, ultra magnetic on an ego trip. You can eat a dick, this a mic jack, you should be a kid. <laughs> Let's go, more walking all over the stars, that's my two step. I just wanna pull your homie over, ask you where the tubes can. They treat me like an alien, you put me in a space chair. You can get these space balls, homie, I'm special. I must be the alarm that you slept through, ultra terrestrial. Ultra terrestrial. Ultra terrestrial, ultra terrestrial, ultra terrestrial, ultra terrestrial, ultra terrestrial, ultra terrestrial, ultra terrestrial. Soul snatcher, kryptonite to women. I just like to stir the curiosity. These fakes have made black holes for her, trying to reach the event horizon. See, they like their organ shifted. They all be like Jay tripping, way above the clouds. They. They bad cause they take tricky. You lost your low diamond. They marvel at me, carrying heavy metal. Call me the Iron Man, aiming at xenophobes in the Galaxian. Where is he coming from? Another dimension. Pardon my French, but I'm God in the flesh. But a God complex, too complex. In my final form, still nice with these hammers. Call me Mighty Thor. Tucked in the arm wall, au revoir. Okay, raise the random thumbers and the number runners. Burn a set the stunner, I'm a top gunner. We can take a time cruise wherever you wanna. Up and down the coastline, hang around the waistline. She don't wanna waste time. Into the black and I'm a beast boy. I come in peace, boy. You're still a mic jack. You better be it, boy. Take off, move, walking all over the stars. That's my two step. I just wanna pull your homie over. That's the way the tubes catch. They treat me like an alien, you put me in a space jam You can get these space balls, homie, I'm special I must be the alarm that you slept through Oh, to arrest you I'm gone Thank you Oh, by the way, last year I won the award for best hip-hop artist And my band, Victory Soul Won the award for best R&B food that's why I'm back. Thank you. JB, AKA Dirty Moses, everybody. And he hinted at something there. What we do here at this award show is if you win one year, you're not eligible in the next year's category. You can't win the same category next year because we want to keep it fresh and give people as much exposure as possible. And when we pick our musical acts, it's from the year before it's winners. That's how we do things because we're not the Grammys where, hey, they're playing, they're winning. We just try to keep it fresh. Also tonight, if you still want to go out after the show, down at J&P's Bar and Lounge at uh, 169 Remsen Street in Cahos, we're having an official after party with karaoke. Yay, that's right. Because we're, we're all cheese all the way. We're Velveeta to the heart here. and. Uh, we're gonna go through the last final awards right now. Rob's gonna take over once again. Thank you all very much. Oh yeah, though that's gonna be a really fun time. Either it's gonna be the best karaoke ever with all this talent in the room, or a lot of drummers are gonna sing. <laughs> so, uh, JB though, give it up for JB. The last couple of times I've seen him, I was handing an award to him. So we're gonna get some awards going now. Uh, this next category is for the favorite electronica experimental. Right? That's a cool fucking category. 
Architrave is the first one, and I hope I said it right. TV Doctors is our next nomination. Connor Armbruster. What a name. 100 Psychic Dreams. Cordyceps. So, our winner is 100 Psychic Dreams. In the audience. He's not here. He probably thinks this is hilarious, because he thinks everything's hilarious. Um, but this is awesome. Cool shit. He's not wrong. <laughs> we don't take ourselves that seriously, so. The next category here we have is for favorite performing recording DJ. I said, favorite recording and performing DJ. Ah, oh, here we go, all right. So, the nominees are DJ Hollywood. DJ True Master. DJ TGIF. Devin BPM. And the winner for favorite performing recording DJ is DJ TGIF. So check it out. I'm DJ True Master. I'm not DJ Chat, DJIF. And this is a much, much deserved award for that man who does incredible work in the Capital District. And the Capital District can be seen from out of space because of this guy. So give it up for TGIF. One more time. How cool is that? All right. So this is a cool category. Favorite Irish artist. The nominees include Maggie's Clan. Get up, Jack. Driscoll. The McCrells. Hair of the Dog. And the winner for favorite Irish artist is Maggie's Clan! You've heard of the Irish exit. This is the Irish entrance! Hey, thanks a lot. I as soon as I saw Hair of the Dog up there, I thought we got a chance. Um, but this is awesome. Thank you for the, for, um, for, to all you guys out there, for people who come to our shows, for um, uh, the rest of the band who couldn't be here tonight, and my wife who tells me to get the hell out of the house and go play some music. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's near and dear to my heart. So, favorite hip hop artist and the nominees include B. Austin, The Big Three. 
Coffee. Ricky Bandana. Bonus. Holly Wild. And the winner is B. Austin. First and foremost, I want to thank God. Without him, I wouldn't be standing here. I want to thank the Sauce community. I also want to thank all the other nominees. We got more shows to do, and we got more songs to do. I want to thank my family, my girlfriend, May, and maybe next year I'll come back. Thank you. Be hosted, everyone. So here's a really cool genre, because if there's any band you're going to cover and you want to be successful, it's being a Grateful Dead cover band. So, the nominees include Dead Man's Waltz, The Wheel, Neon Avenue, Let's Be Dead, and Half Step. And the winner is Half Step. Nobody's gonna believe this. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. We, we love playing. We've been, we, our first uh, gig was in '91, so it, you know we've been out there uh, just having fun for a long time. So thanks a lot. <laughs> Half step, everybody. So this next category, favorite prog rock artist. All right, so the nominees are Ampavine, those crazy Swedes, TV Doctors, Seas Atlantis, and the And the winner is Seas Atlantis. Thank you so much to everyone who voted. Um, funny enough, we probably wouldn't label ourselves any genre really, but it's like I told the guys, you are what they say you are. And so anybody who voted for us in the prog rock category, thank you so much. Thank you to all the other bands who are in here. Thank you to everybody who's at here today supporting local music. Like everyone else has always already said, keep coming out to shows, keep us doing everything that's keeping us going. This scene is, for my money, the deepest and best and most 
camaraderie-centered scene I've ever seen or heard of. So let's keep that energy going for the 518. I just want to say thanks again to all the musicians here. Everyone is really talented. The community is really, really supportive, and it's just an honor to be here. Thank you. We'll get hit if we don't thank the wives and girlfriends for supporting us and every show that they come to. So thanks to all the band wives and girlfriends. I'm just a drummer. He's gonna go sing karaoke after the show, so you don't know how to sound like that. I've decided I'm gonna do this hero award myself. Um, this one's kind of tough. Like Josh, who was a dear friend of mine, Scott Dorrance was a musician's musician in this area. If you ever had the chance to play with him, it was always about, we'll find a way to get it done. We'll make it happen. He'd find his way to, to learn the song or to always make it better. Going back with, the uh, first time I met him was with the Stasiacs, actually, in a basement bar in Troy with uh, cold running water and hot and cold running roaches. And uh, <laughs> I'm not lying, dude. <laughs> we had to kill rats every day before we opened the door there. And uh, this guy called me and said, hey, will you book my band, the Stasiacs? So I did. And then years later, I got to work with Scott through a couple different projects, including he was a lawn sausage. He started out as um, super sweet sausage. <laughs> and then as it got harder to walk, he became limp sausage. And he actually named himself. It wasn't Jimmy who did it or me, it was Scott. If there was a, uh, a benefit, and Scott had health problems of his own, but a benefit for anything, for anybody, at any time, he would be there. No matter how he was feeling, he dropped everything and he showed up, whether it's bass or guitar or singing, to support his fellow brothers and sisters in this camaraderie we call the local music scene, and to um, do good for someone else, no matter how much he was hurting. So, I could go on for hours, and if you want to talk to me later, I will. Just remember, if you listen to Cheap Trick, think of Scott Dorrance. At this time, I would like to call up his wife, Melanie, to accept this award on his behalf. They talk about love stories. Right here. to accept this award on Scott's behalf. Um, he would be really surprised and uh, humbled to receive this and think, I don't even know what the big deal is about me. Um, I would like to congratulate the other recipients in this category who um, Scott uh, admired as well. Uh, Scott was an inspiration in regards to uh, the way he viewed life and how he persevered uh, with what at times seemed like uh, or insurmountable odds. He uh, definitely embodied the performer attitude that the show must go on no matter what, and many times um, Scott really was not feeling his best, but he made it to all his shows. He, he just was uh, adamant that he had to be there for his bandmates. Uh, I'd like to thank um, family, friends, bandmates, fellow musicians for supporting Scott in all his musical endeavors over the years. Um, it's really heartwarming to me to know that his light still shines brightly and that um, others acknowledge and appreciate Scott's beautiful soul. So, for a well of life. Thank you. Scott. 
Scott Dorrance, everyone, give it up one more time. So here's where we had some fun. We get into the superlatives of the whole show here, because we don't take ourselves that seriously. We're not like the local Grammys or anything. It's more like the local Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, right? So, this next category for best hair and makeup. And don't tell me you don't wear makeup, because I saw you put it on. So the categories include our very own Peggy of Troy. Tommy motherfucking love. That's his real middle name, by the way. Of course, Jeff Prescott. Right? Joanna Palladino. And apparently the whole entire band, Haunted Cat. They do wear a lot of makeup. And the winner is Tommy Love. Yeah. I'm surprised you wasn't nominated for Best Dress. Look at this guy. It's the Capital Region's Mick Jagger. There's old private entrance. The Epstein entrance. Yeah, this is really nice to be voted a, a guy that wears makeup and has nice hair. <laughs> My hair is real. I don't wear makeup, but I want to thank everybody. Um, if you want to book a hair appointment, go check the dust. My hair is, um, is called uh, Belinda, and she's on 19th Street in Waterville. Thank you very much. I saw him wear makeup, I swear to God, I seen him. He's lying. Next one, most likely to fall off the stage, which, granted guys, if I was ever nominated, I'm, I'm not eligible, this is the award I would want. So our nominees include Jay Sway. Tom Dolan, you got good balance, man, I've seen you. Good balance. Jim Barrett. Yeah. The entire band of grape juice. None of these guys can stay on stage. And Matt Delegato. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner is Grape Juice. The entire band. Let them fall down the stairs right now? It could be. I don't know. All right, so maybe they're not here. They had a gig. They fell off the stage. All right. So a lot of you probably should have been nominated for Best Dressed. I've seen a lot of really good looking people here tonight. So give it up for all of you. But the Best Dressed nominations go to Abby Stone. Bill Floyd. Dennis Knight. Johnny Morse. Treasure. And Joanna Palladino. And the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Morse. Johnny is not here, but we want to show you all why Johnny won this award. Frankie? 
Right? I mean, really, look at that. The Pope of Cahos, everybody, John Moore. We'll give this to the homeless on his behalf. He wanted us to do that. So, most likely to owe the club money. I mean, there is quite a few of you. But the nominees include Jeff Prescott. As an individual, not as a band. So what does he do on his own time? Colby G. Brother T, we've all seen him in action. Brain Medicine. The Erotics. And the winner is The Erotics. I know Mike Trash had a, a charity show to play tonight. Anyone there from the game? All right, you all have This is the final award of the night, and it's another hero award. Yeah. Howard Glassman. I said, Artie, I said, I feel like I could do Howard Glassman's award. Howard and I, I mean, everyone knows him for bogeys. Everyone knows him from Valentine's and the low beat and just being someone in the scene who really supported music. And when I sold out Valentine's for the first time, back in like 2007, sold it out. And the 30 bucks I collected, it was freaking great. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Howard, man, we freaking love you. But what a lot of people don't know is uh, Howard Glassman actually, he did a radio show and I was the producer. It was a sports, radio show on a station that doesn't exist anymore called WTMM, stood for the team, and uh, it was a sports uh, show. And everyone knows how he's like the biggest Mets fan in the entire world. <laughs> but um, I remember one time, I don't know what it was, I was just going through some, some things and I wore my wife's pants they weren't jeans. No, they were like those stretchy pants. I wore them to the studio. And Howie told me I looked sexy. So. You do look sexy, Rob. See? Yeah, I'm trying. You gotta let my wife know that. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, Howard Glassman's been not only a good friend, but a really good supporter uh, in the music scene. And. Uh, Albany, the capital region, we wouldn't have been the same without him. And uh, Crane Pole Records, and uh, oh my God, man, I love this guy. So give it up for Howie Glassman. I hope he was here. If he's still here, it's good to see him in person. Do you remember those pants? They're sexy. I don't know, I saw him earlier. Well, I heard somebody saw him earlier. He was like, he's like Bigfoot, we know it. He is like Bigfoot. We know he exists. So, who's coming out to do some karaoke, right? <laughs> JMP's right down the street on Remsen Street. It's gonna be, like I said, the most iconic karaoke ever. After party. I don't know. Yeah, baby. We'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Give a big round of applause for the Gahoz Music Hall, their staff, live sound for tonight. All of you for coming out. Frankie Cavone, who we could not do this without. Rob Spinnett, Nikki Chaos, all the Radio Radio X staff. But once again, it's all about you guys. We thank you so much. We're gonna do this again next year, all right? So, yeah. So we're gonna do it again next year. We'll probably start voting in December, so be ready for it. Thank you all for coming out. See you at J&P's for karaoke. Let's make some noise.